Hi, my name is Rand, and this is my channel, Radio 66, and this is my video on how to make a simple FM radio. Not too long ago, I wondered if you could take just a handful of components and make an actual working FM radio. So I looked through the internet, and I found a schematic that I thought looked good, so I started to put it together. Now to do this, I have a module here that has an LM386. And this is the audio amplifier section over here. So I just kind of cut to the quick on this and use this module as my amplifier section. And over on this side, I put together the components needed. I used two transistors, both 2N, 3904s, very generic, very general purpose. I used a trimmer cap that I had that ranged between 5 and 20 picofarads. And I quickly wound a coil using four turns around about a quarter inch uh, form and uh, use enameled wire, 18 gauge for that and just put a little bit of a nub of an antenna and use as a load resistor this 22K resistor and as the coupling cap I use this 0.22 microfarad cap and hooked this to the input of this module here to ground VCC here and the output to uh, a speaker and uh, turned it on and it worked. Well I was greatly encouraged so I thought I'd build a proper set exactly the way the schematic showed. So I ordered from eBay a trim cap that ranged between 2 and 22 picofarads. I ordered two BF494 transistors which uh, one particular site said was the best one to use. I also heard that you can use a BF199. The BF series uses a different pinout than the 2N series, so check your data sheets on that. Then I put together the op amp itself, itself use an LM386, use a 10K pot for the input, use a 0.1 microfarad cap from the output of the op amp from pin 5 to ground to filter noise, and for the coupling cap from the output of the op amp to the speakers or headphones, use a 220 microfarad cap. And of course, still use 4.5 volts for VCC. And I turned it on, and it didn't work. So what I had to do is go to the data sheet of the op amp, and I looked at my module and made a comparison. And I noticed that in present form, this op amp works with only a gain of a factor of 20. And when you look at the data sheet, you also see that there's a pin 1 and pin 8 on the op amp. And if you add a electrolytic cap, 10 microfarads between pin 1 and pin 8, with a plus side going to pin 1, that increases the gain by a factor of 100%, from 20 to 200. But the only problem is when you increase the gain, you also increase the chance of this thing making noise. So you have to add an additional electrolytic capacitor on the VCC uh, output to ground somewhere between 100 to 200 microfarads. I use a 220, and that did work. So I hooked it all up again, and one other thing it did additionally from the little nub of the antenna, I hooked an additional 5 picofarad cap. So if I wanted to hook up an additional antenna, uh, I just connected to that. So here it is. Here are the two transistors, the trim cap, the coil. And I did spread the coils out a little bit. And let's see if this thing does work this time. Again, hook up my negative to my battery. Hook up my positive. Do my tuning right here. With playing with the antenna, and playing with the adjustments of your pot, you can clean up the sound. Now, I live in the Boston area. I'm about uh, 20 miles from Boston, about uh, 15 miles from the transmitters, 
And uh, so obviously your terrain, your location may give you a different set of responses. But this is what I did, and it works. It's a lot of fun to do. Hope you have a chance to make it yourself, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care.